We want to get a message through to them that uh, we're, we do work on their airplanes. Air Canada, uh, that's uh, the headquarters building, uh, or some of the headquarters building uh, there, and uh, they tried to get into work, and uh, they should uh, feel a little bit of uh, the pressure that we're feeling right now. We received uh, calls yesterday uh, telling us that uh, Avios no longer is in, in business. They close the doors. Many of us have no real idea of what's going on. Avios is the the remaining part of the Air Canada Heavy Maintenance Group. Air Canada did all their in-house uh, repairs. When Air Canada split everything up, was Avios took their airframe, the engine maintenance, and the uh, components, which would be you know, electricals and whatnot. So it was all broken up into separate budget centers, uh, going probably back five years now, I guess. Was it expected? Uh, some of us kind of saw the writing on the wall, I guess. The biggest, I guess, disappointment for our side of it was just uh, watching the CR, CRRB, the Canadian Industrial Relations Board, um, allow it to continue through the transition process. You know, they had uh, basically approved the split and said that uh, Avios was a viable company. Um, a lot of us didn't feel that uh, they were very viable when it all was being pushed through. The last, uh, say, 18 to 36 months, uh, a lot of turmoil, a lot of frustration on the floors. Everything is under control for now, but I don't know how long it's going to keep. It'll be a huge chunk out of the, uh, out of the, uh, the monthly budget, you know. But there are many people here that uh, both spouses work here. So their income has been completely wiped out, you know, in one foul swoop. It's uh, it's not a good situation. Uh, <laughs>